So this is the last day of me little rides around Westry. Uh, I'm just doing this little bit to just to highlight the wind does drop. It's been nothing but windy, but this morning, calm as anything. Calm as anything. I can't believe it. Although there is more midges, the dreaded midge. So my ferry's just coming in. Don't know whether you could see that. So uh, yeah. I think I'm going to do it north, north of the mainland uh, today. So it's the 22nd of uh, August 2022. I'm up here at Yesnaby, uh, the gun battery. I think it was the Second World War. Keep out for those U boats from Germans. So I'm going for a short walk. I'm going to go up uh, to there. I've already forgot what it's called, but I'll put it in the description. So it's only a short walk I'm going to, the Brough of Bingen, and there's another site up there what I'm just going to look at. Uh, I want to do a cycle ride this afternoon, so that's why I'm not doing a massive walk, but uh, I think you can walk all along the coast, and uh, past the gun batteries and stuff, the World War II gun battery. Of course, there's, the, there's a lot of these like uh, old military installations with gunneries and uh, observation points uh, they're a bit of a pinch point for the German, German Navy to get out to the North Sea obviously that's the only way they could have got out to send in the U-boats and stuff so uh, there are a lot of and the British fleet were based up here defending North Sea so there's a bit of a bay down here it looks like we could walk down to it God, if this was a tropical island it'd be awesome you have some interesting rock formations, you see the striations, I think they're called. I don't know what they call that, that's what I call them. <laughs> Sediment laid down on the sea and then it come up above the sea or the sea went down or something or other. It gets a bit complicated. <laughs> so I just got up to the Brough of Bingen. I think it's Brough, not Brow. Not too sure. We'll say Brough of Bingen. Uh, you're looking over there to the uh, uh, gun battery, what's left of it anyway. Obviously that looking out to sea. Uh, there's another one of those sort of things on Stronze, Stronze. Um, very interesting to look round. You get some good views over wherever that is. I know it's looking towards Stromness, uh, looking south. So that's looking over, well, on the map it said something like Kier. Q-U-I, one word, A-Y-R-E, uh, so this one up, next one up, I'm not too sure. Look at these caves and stuff, this rock, don't want to get too close to edge. Wow, it's really good. So that's looking over the Brough of Biggin, I believe it's called, the uh, gunnery uh, um, place uh, but I'm here at the key air so this is another view of uh, key air uh, apparently it's the only place on Orkney that was quarried for millstones because apparently the stone here is like hard enough to make millstones out of uh, and there we go, that's that castle. Forgot the, uh, the actual name of it. <laughs> I'll have to look it up. Just walk around there and uh, have a little look at it. Looks as if it's about ready to fall over. Oh my god, there's a massive hole in the bottom of it. Oh wow. That does look good. <laughs> wonder at what point it'll collapse. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> That does look good. Of course, down in Dalshire we've got Alport Castle. Similar sort of thing, but they're into an old limp bottom right like that. So this is another view of Yes... Yeah, I found that out the name. It's yes Yesnaby Castle. So yeah, I am at Yesnaby, so it uh, sort of makes sense. Well, there's like a bridge to, to entrance. I don't want to risk going across it. That is interesting. So at some point there must have been all stone down there as well before it eroded away. Wow, that is impressive. Got to take a photo of that. 
I think I'm getting confused with your castles. This is one with the hole in. I'm not sure about that other one. Proper confused now. That's obviously the one with the hole in. And that's a proper castle. No bridge on that one. There's two of them, very similar. This one's bigger. I don't know what I'm looking at from that. Yeah, I think there's a little one and a big one. Little one's got an hole at the bottom as well. But it's only a little one with a little bridge across it, which is cute. So I'm, it's been a, not as far as I thought it were. So I'm going to go over to the other bit where the map showed you. So if you look, this is where I'm getting confused. There's the big Yesna B castle. And then there's one just at side here, which I thought was Yesna B castle, but I don't suppose it can be a castle if there's a, a bridge across it. Very interesting how it's all eroded and everything. I think they've both got little tunnels at the bottom, or arches or holes in them at the bottom. It is le the actual Yesnumby Castle, the big one, it's actually leaning quite. And it looks as if it's about ready to fall over. So, this other place I'm going to, it's called. You know, Ara Ebb? Ara Ebb. Okay, I'm not going any farther because I want to get a, a ride in around top of island the mainland island uh, but look at that cave smugglers cave i would like to go around and see what's if it goes all the way through like i say i want to go back and do this cycle ride uh, so i'm turning around here uh, i'll just show you the uh, Ari ebb where locals in the landlocked parish had rights to collect shellfish and stuff uh, show you that in a minute um, but yeah, I think I might come back and do some more walking a bit more because I've been concentrating on trying to do all the islands, cycle around all the islands, which I'm not going to be able to do. Some of the smaller islands, I think I'll have to leave. But uh, yeah, let's have a look at this uh, Harry Ebb and I'll make my way back now. I could make the way down onto the rocks. There's a lot of rock pools down there, so I should imagine uh, the critters get trapped in it. This is like some twine down there. I don't know whether they're catching crabs and stuff, which is interesting. Um, there's a fishing boat over there, I think it's a fishing boat. So I'm making my way back now, as you can see there's markers, stone markers you follow. So making my way back to the car and I'm going to head off back to the other side of the island to do a bit of a bike ride. So it is. Uh, the 22nd of August 2022. This has been my walk around Yasenby. Yasenby. Uh, these little features. Um, started from here, the gun embattlements at Yasenby. Just finishing here. It's been a short walk. I want to do a cycle around uh, Top of Island uh, this afternoon. Um, so, I mean, it's been a lovely day. Uh, not a sign of any rain. Uh, when I woke up this morning, it, it was calm as anything. Midges was coming out, but now it's, it is a bit windy now. So uh, that's me done for today.